house dress and apron and forgot one thing. My girls. My girls. So. And the videos are going to get much better pretty soon. Thanks to people joining my Patreon. I can buy some better equipment now. So you're going to notice an upgrade in sound video editing. Thank you everybody. I have three Patreons now and you don't realize how much just a little help. But I'll do a whole video about that. Okay, okay. here we go. Have you you know someone who doesn't accept your lifestyle? You know, they think that if you wear an apron in the house dress, pearls, heels, curlers, knee high hair tubes and stuff, that, you know, you're some oppressed little thing who needs you know, darling. You know, let's call her Mrs. Uppity Up. You know, her and her husband work, they make tons of money, and they think they're better than everyone else in the neighborhood. She sounds a little something like this. Darling. My home is so immaculate. Oh, look at little Sally over there, the little homemaker. That's what she looked like in the 1950s is over. How do you answer something like that? Simple. You tell them money isn't everything. I don't need money to be happy. The fact that you think you need money to be happy says more about you than it does about me. You know, she'll say, But now, the women's revolution helped free us from domestic chores. <laughs> and then you can say, No, sweetheart. It was meant to give women the choice. I'm not enslaved. I'm happy. I don't have a strict schedule to work on. I can do my housework and stuff whenever I want. And I'm not under some boss who's going to be like, if you don't work for any hours as I want, then you're fired. So, that's a good one, huh? You know, and I don't want y'all to use this on just any woman who works. No, that's their project. <laughs> I'm saying use this for Mrs. Uppity Up <laughs> and her husband, you know, Mr. Uppity Up. Okay, darling. We are better than the average peasants around here, aren't we? <laughs> when we have the biggest cars, the biggest mansions. Money don't make you happy. It helps. You want to pay the bills and stuff. And for women who want to stay home, their spouse, wife, husband, uh, non binary partner making good money will help. And it's none of Mrs. Uppity Up. It's none of her business how you live. If you want to drive an old car, if you like it, then who cares? That's the whole point. It's about happiness. Nowadays, and sometimes uh, women are disabled, or sometimes we have sick kids, or a sick husband, or a sick mother, or somebody to take care of. But for the ones who are physically able and stuff, but we still choose to stay home, because either our partner needs it, or we're just happy. That's the whole point. Somewhere along the line, feminism lost sight of that. That if you want to work, then go right ahead. If that makes you happy, then go for it. But when you start thumbing your nose down at other women, then that makes you the judgmental jerk. You're doing to them what people did to your parents or you back in the 1950s. You've become the people you claim to hate. So anyway, Dons, here's my pitch. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell, comment, and join my Patreon. I have a nice little Patreon starting out with $5 for the basic, $15 for more advanced, and $25 you get to have video chats with me, phone calls with me, and even help pick, talk it. pick topics. So have a blessed day, everybody. Take care. And God love you all. God bless you.